I'm Janice Panther, and I've gotten quite a few requests, people asking, Janice, what do you have in your childbirth classroom? What kind of materials do you have? What kind of visuals do you have? So we're going to take a tour. So kind of like the, um, I was just thinking about it, what is it, the song that was just uh, Mary Poppins, the best place to start is the beginning. So just wait a second, and we're going to start at the beginning, at the front door. When you walk in the front room, the first thing you see is a door, and right above the door, I don't know if you can read that out, but it has the word doula and it's in the shape of objects, the D-O-U-L-A. That's right above the door. Here's the door into the classroom, and this is a visual you can buy from Kappa, and it's kappa.net, and it says, warning doulas can seriously improve your pregnancy and birth. Please hire a doula before giving birth. And the side effects, you may have a better birth experience, you may experience a greater sense of empowerment, and you may have fewer interventions and a much lower risk of a cesarean. The warning has been brought to you by Kappa, Childbirth, the Postpartum Professional Association. Have a couple of awards out here. I keep a lot of books here. Most of my books are still at home, but we keep a lot of books here. Some of them are required reading for certification and other books that they might want to look, look at. I don't lend out books because I have found out every time I do lend out books, I don't get them back. And I've been fortunate over the years to get quite a few different little things to put around the office of different ways women are when they're pregnant and don't get sick years ago motion sickness. This was made for me and this is a quilt and think about it for a second and you'll kind of get what it is. And that is an egg being fertilized by sperm. And somebody made this for me. And the person in the office with me right now is just shaking her head no and doing a little giggle. Now we're in the classroom and you've seen some of this before. It looks kind of familiar. Yes, we have lots of birth balls around. We have one, two, three, four, plus the peanut ball. We have one whole side of my room is, is windows, so it takes up a lot of space that we don't have room to put things on. I'm on the third floor of a building. Then the place where you see a lot of the videos take place is where the belly cast is. There's the tripod that was just out. We have more book space, and in here we have some more visuals that we use. Uh, this I got from childbirthgraphics.com and it shows the milk, how much colostrum comes out and the other types of milk that come out. This is a good visual that we usually keep out somewhere, some place, and it's cigarette butts in a bottle and it really does send a message across. You don't have to say a word, you just leave that out. This is also something I got from Childbirth Graphics a long time ago and as the size uh, and the weight of a mother's belly and the pillows and they really get a kick out of these and it says on the back how much it weighs what's going on during that time how many weeks of pregnancy it is we were just able to get an empathy belly and we've not used it yet uh, it's too heavy for me to even lift because of my back but we are going to be starting to use it hopefully within the next month after we've trained everybody here at for love of birth on how to use it you've seen my whiteboard before and then we have the monitor for showing videos and the DVD player. Uh, this is on a filing cabinet, so it gets two uses. And this is full of uh, different kind of handouts that we use uh, for birth behind bars. And also a lot of handouts that we use, a lot of tear-offs that we've gotten from childbirth graphics that we give out for our classes. And this basket is really special to me. This basket is an antique basket. Uh, I live in Tarpon Springs, Florida, and we have many 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 antique stores and this basket is actually a basket that was used way 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 back in the day and it's what the mothers carried their babies in as they were tending their gardens which we would call farms because they're so huge and the quilt that's in hanging out of it a client of mine her mother made it for me so it's very precious and special to me right here next to it you've seen me use these in videos and showing positions and the best way of showing positions and this is a really sweet woman that I just love dearly that's posing in here when she was pregnant with her second child Christy Colburn and we have the different positions that we use and we put out all around on the day we talk about positions inside my basket here I have a uterus a placenta pelvis uh, if you've watched the video on epidurals, here's the bag with all the ropes in it and the straws that we use to teach that. We have our little baby and we have our uterus. Oh, I have two uteruses. Sounds a little strange, doesn't it? 
and you've seen this in a video before about uh, positive affirmations to use during birth. I really like this. I use this a lot in classes. I think it's really good for people who are tactile and visual, the labor progress puzzle. I got that from Childbirth Graphics. And this was uh, something that we use a lot for the jail or take with you, and it's the miniature. You've seen this before in the catalog where it's the tiny baby, tiny pelvis, tiny uh, uterus, and the placenta uh, for some reason didn't fall out of the bag and her little blanket. We have the breast, and this breast is pretty cool because if it has a string in the back and you pull the string and it makes an inverted nipple. It also has a little lump in here so you can feel it and you see what it feels like when there's an infection or mastitis. We have my favorite massage tool, Mr. Dolphin. I love him. This is from Kappa, and uh, it's a rice sock, and you can take this out of the cover and wash it and reuse it over and over again so you're not wasting your money. And while we're talking about that, here's another rice sock. This came from Kappa, and it's larger, as you can see. It's long and has handles. And you can take the cover off and you can wash that and reuse it so it has more than one use. I have two sets of belts here from for monitors. One that's Velcro and one that has the holes in it. Here's another breast. Here is a scarf or rebozo that we use when teaching different rebozo things. Don't know if you've ever seen one of these, but you can attach this, and I won't do it on the video. And I got this from Childworth Graphics, and you can attach this to the pelvis. It actually shows the opening, uh, how where the vagina opens up, and how wide it gets. It's backwards, sorry. And uh, it was really cuter in the book. It was very hard to use. I think I've only used it just a couple of times, and I think it was that was only in trainings. I have an oxygen mask to show them what that looks like. Here's another baby blanket. We have a lot of these when we teach Happiest Baby on the Block. We have a surgical hat. We have the wonderful, beautiful hospital gowns that we just love to wear. Surgical mask. We have a beautiful hospital blanket that we just see in every single picture. Those cute little things they give us to throw up in. A baby hat. Here's another rice sock that's washable. This is from yourdoulabag.com. I got this off of eBay and it was sealed. Somebody in one of my classes actually broke it and I had to tape it closed, but this is all the pieces used for when you have an epidural. In here is uh, a lot of the things for interventions, and I won't pull them all out, but I have another needle for an epidural. I have the amniotic hook. I have an IFM. I have a uterine monitor. Um, and I think that's it that's in there. Pulse oximeter. There's a pulse oximeter in there. You've heard me before talk about having affirmations on the wall. We have two affirmations that are right here now on the wall. They'll be changed and made differently for the next class. For every class, the very first class that we have, we always have what we have called a worry list. And after the introductions are done, and I say my name, they tell who they are, we find out what do they want to learn from this class, what's really laying on their mind. Here's their list. How long before I can get drugs? What happens when my water breaks? What's an episiotomy? How long do I push? Monitoring the baby? Why do we induce? Can my mother stay with me? And this is on, it's just like a, po a large post-it note. And what we do is if we have more than one class a week, this comes off the wall and goes on the back of one of our doors, and we put the other list up for the next class. And then I'm, we have here behind our door that opens up a place where we store a lot of things. Here's a lot of our baby dolls. I'm very fortunate. I've been very, very fortunate to have a lot of DVDs to use to teach by, and uh, very fortunate, I'm very thankful for that, to use f in for, for the Love of Birth and also Birth Behind Bars. And the other uh, little baskets are handouts, uh, freebies, 
um, the affirmation sheets, more visuals. You see another pelvis down there. So that's pretty much what we have in our office. Um, a bar stool we sit on. Sometimes we're doing trainings, a lectern if somebody is speaking to us and they would like to have a lectern to, to keep their materials on. Pretty much is everything that we have in here. And then in the next room over we have my office, which is pretty much a generic office. I do have a painting in there that my mother did that is one of my favorite things of, of life. She's a wonderful painter. She's 85 years old now. And she painted this for me years ago. Uh, the children were little at that time. And it's a, a woman who is pregnant and she uh, doesn't have any clothes on and she has one hand over her breast and she's sideways and a hand underneath her belly and just adorable. I just love it. And uh, my kids were raised around things like that, just like your kids are raised around all kinds of pictures and things and they know all the right correct terms for everything in our body and not just the cute little things that children say in school. I hope you liked this. It gives you an idea of maybe some things that you might want to get for your classes. You don't have to have all these. I learned in my very first training that one of your best things you can do, and I've said this in one of my videos, is use your body. And saying your hips, double hip squeeze, uh, different things like babies underneath ribs, uh, what it feels like for having not being able to breathe babies so high up. There's a lot of things you can do with your body and not have to have a lot of the things that uh, cost a lot of money. I hope this has been a help to you. I hope that you have learned from this and maybe given you some ideas on things that you would like to have in your classes and maybe just some cute things that are out. Uh, I didn't show one of the walls that has just a lot of plaques on it, things like that, um, and some other little things that are around here. But anything that's around that it can be cute and be a, a way of conversation for your classes, it's a good thing to have. So I hope you liked it and all my information is below and I look forward to hearing from you later. Bye-bye.